Hey guys, Jim will check in here, and today we're doing a DIY on the channel. Now, this is going to be a, as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, this is going to be a DIY rocket launcher that you can shoot, you can hold it back, release, and it will shoot pretty far actually. So the things you're going to need for this are a popsicle stick, scissors, I have two pairs, but you only need one pair of scissors, a straw, a paper clip, a marker, uh, you need a, an index card. I have a booklet, but you only really need one. Tape, either a rubber band or a um, or a hair tie. Uh, I I only had one rubber band, so here, so I, I have the I have part of it already made. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make it using a hair tie or whatever it's called, and that should be it. So let's go ahead and hop straight into it. So we're going to be making the launcher first. So what you're going to do is take your popsicle stick and your tape. Then you're going to take a piece of your tape. Uh, it might take me a minute, simply because the, um, I need to get this holder piece off. Like what I do is I, I put, um, I like scrunch it up this way. I have a piece of tape ready. If that makes that makes zero sense. But. Yep, in one minute I will have a piece of tape ready to be used. And that is cut. And there we go. So you're gonna take a piece of tape, just like this one. Then you're going to take either your rubber band or your hair tie. It works better with a rubber band, but a hair tie could work. I have no idea where that was. So I have another one. But you're going to open it up and approximately at the middle, it doesn't have to be exactly, but approximately at the middle of it, you're going to place your piece of tape. It's kind of hard to see because I'm using clear tape, but uh, hopefully I described it well enough. Then you're going to take the popsicle stick and on, on half of the tape, you're going to stick on the popsicle stick and then you're going to fold the other half over. Now this is all you have to do. Um, you can see it looks something like this and then you can, you can pull it back and when you release it will shoot. Um, so, and that is the actual launcher completely done. Now we have to just do the actual rocket part. So what you're going to do is take your straw, and um, if you have a bendy straw like mine, like, um, you, you won't want it to be able to bend, because that would ruin the, the percussion of the rocket teetering. So what you're going to do is take, if you have a bendy straw, you're just going to take this tape and wrap it around again and again until it cannot move. So if I, so I put my piece of tape around and now if I try and open it, you can see it does not, it does not appear to be moving. So, so now you're going to take out your index card onto your book book and you're going to hold it long ways. After I rip this out of the you're going to hold it long ways, so it's like this, and you're gonna fold it in half like a hamburger. Some like the other way is a hot dog. Some people say this is a hamburger. So then you're gonna unfold it, and if you have good eyes, you don't need to do this. But I, I have bad eyes, so you probably want to do this anyway. And you take your marker, draw a line right up that crease that you made, and then so it should look like this. And then you can draw a line from the bottom of, of that line to each corner. So it will be more clear how to do it once I have finished. But, yep, right, just like that. And it should look something like this. If it doesn't look like that, then you, um, I apologize if you've done something wrong. Go back and watch the video again. But you can decorate these if you want to, um, however you want to do it. That's up to you. But next, you're going to take your scissors and... You're going to cut along each of those lines, which should give you four wings of your rocket. So I'm just gonna cut these out here. And as you can see, I have four bright triangles, which are going to be the wings of our rocket. Now, this is the tricky part. You're going to take your straw, and the trickiest part, in my opinion, is getting it on. So you're gonna hold it this way, um, just look at the video real quick and you're gonna hold it this way um, Then the flat side the part that doesn't have the slant is go that part is going to be on the straw 
So make sure you leave a little gap in between. Um, this way, you make sure you leave a small gap in between the bottom of the straw and the first one. This way you can hold it and launch it. Now what you're gonna do is take your piece of tape and cover half of the of the triangle with no cover the, the cover use half the tape to cover the triangle. Then okay, I've done all four sides. Mine ended up kind of turning kind of bad, but you guys can probably do better. So next, you're gonna take your paper clip, and what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna about measure where the top, the top is gonna be. And basically, the way it's gonna work is you're gonna be holding it out like this. And you're gonna like pull it back. So what you're gonna do is just the tip, just the top. Well, no. First, you're going to bend out the paper clip so it looks like this. And then this top end, you're just gonna bend that down. And then what you're gonna do is take another piece of tape, a relatively long piece of tape as well. And I'll show you how long it should be in one second. Uh, it should be about this long then you're going to take that paper clip that you, just, that you just made make sure that the point of it is facing downwards the part that you bend it down is facing downwards then attach it using your piece of tape to the straw or to the rocket now i should say and then you should be that, that should be everything done so if i just take my other rocket launcher that i made here uh, I'm not, I'm not going to show you guys this because I'm going to do a big review and boom, fires. So, yep, now we're going to head outside and we're going to show you guys how this thing works. Sorry about that, um, we had a little incident, but anyway, you're going to tape it on like this. So the other half is dangling off and you're just going to wrap that around your triangle like so. So it should look something like this. I, I think I put a little bit too big of a gap, but it should make a difference. So. Then what you're going to do is take another piece of tape, which you will just cut like that, and same exact thing, just um, do it on the other side, this way it won't wobble around. Now, you're going to do this for all four, I'm just going to make a cut in the video, so you guys will see this back when it's all done. Okay, so we're outside now, I have the rocket launcher and the rocket I made, so I'm going to get close so you can see how to launch it. So. You're going to have your rubber band close to the top and make sure that you barely get it on there. This way it will fire. Something like this, maybe even a little lower. I'll try and get it. This way it will shoot good. And ready? I'm going to shoot it in three, two, one. As you can see, it shoots, it shoots uh, probably, I'd say, maybe like five or six yards away. Maybe you don't more than that. But the rocket comes over here. Perfectly, perfectly good rocket. You can shoot it as many times as you want until it breaks. But that's going to be the end of this video here. So if you guys did enjoy, please remember to hit that like button. And as always, subscribe for more content. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again. And peace out.